In this video, we're reacting to another Let's Game It Up video called I Use Drones to Make a Nightmare Factory Even Worse. So, we're almost done with this whole series. And what's even more interesting that with the upload schedule Let's Game It Out has, he's been releasing once every year now. So now I'm even more curious to finish this whole series because, well, what happened since last time? What were the updates? And again, as usual, I've never played this game. Why? Because I enjoy asking you guys and talking to you because I read all these comments. All right, let's get into it. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Oh boy, let's play some Satisfactory today. Oh gosh, you see the clipping already in the background? The blurred out B-roll, how it's just like stop starting? Hey, we love this game around here, where there are endless ways to <laughs> shatter your bones. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's catch you up on what's happened so far. First, we built a wonderful, normal working factory for like a second. Then it turned into this, then into this, and yes. then this, and also some of this. Oh. So, right there, let me go back. Right there. So this is Elf told me in comments is that this is literally on the Steam web page. Like, this is one of the pictures that the developers use to advertise themselves on Steam, which is awesome, by the way. The fact that Let's Game It Out and the developers are working hand in hand and they're sharing content with each other, which is really cool. But anyways, if you said that in the comments, thank you for telling me because that was really cool information. Some of this, eventually we reach nuclear power. It produces a lot of energy, but more than that, it produces beautiful toxic <laughs> byproducts. So much so that it hurt to exist here. Aw, uh, yes. The fact that he was forced to leave. He was forced to leave his chaotic base to do something else. And we had to flee. So after that, we slid our way over to Oranger Pastures, and this time we did it right. We erased all of this nature, we put down a beautiful working factory, and we can't forget about hypertubes, which is oh good for my normal gosh. transport. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. It's been weeks since I've even thought about this stuff, and I figured it's been long enough I can do another reaction video, but good lord, look at that. I remember, you remember the clip where like he went through it and then he just like went to the nether realm? <laughs> or linking them together and going so fast, you leave this dimension. Or if you oh, split yeah. <laughs> the difference, you can create a machine where we can aim this cannon back at our old base and see if we can reclaim that irradiated nightmare. So what's funny is that a lot of you told me in comments that this, that method of traveling ever since it was discovered, it became like the normal way to travel, apparently. And some of y'all comments, please tell me, if you use this method of traveling, like how do you, how do you slow yourself down? You know what I mean? And that's what brings us to here. So we have a couple of pressing concerns each and every one of those barrels that's actively hurting me while i talk that's okay though i've got my handy dandy in here okay so just off of that little clip i'm assuming that creative mode is in the game now i'm assuming because because last time when he did this he it was almost instant death and it was very fast damage so i'm assuming that he's in creative mode at this point did it exist then Taylor here so whenever my health is getting me down uh i can't tell I just can't tell. But I'm assuming that he's he sits in creative mode most of the time. At least now, if he can. Uh, anyway, let me give you the grand tour before we get started. Here we have sumptuous radiation issues, followed <laughs> by even more radiation issues. And we're gonna have to figure this out fast, because I don't know what happened, but this God. place is definitely- I can't even imagine. If he ends up cleaning this up, it's gonna take him forever. Like, forever. How would, how would you, how would you ideally clean this up? I know that in future updates, there's like ways, y'all told me that there's ways to just remove it entirely, but before that update, how would you do it in his case curse now and even more radiate oh it looks like things have kind of come to a standstill <laughs> I guess it makes sense, though. After all, over here in this side of our base, the land of oh nuclear... Oh, gosh, it looks so bad. Look at all look at all that smoke. <laughs> ...your power plants. There's been a couple of changes since we were last here. See, the last time we were in this base was before they added fluid to the game. And now that all of these beauties have been magically retrofitted, it requires not just these, which are uranium fuel rods, but it also requires that we have water to cool the whole thing down, which obviously we don't have based on this giant gaping hole, which means that we've got all of these plants and none of them are working right now which honestly is then why are they smoking i guess it's just a cosmetic thing you know what i mean probably both good and bad good because no working means no nuclear wasty the bad is these being offline means we don't have any power coming to our base don't worry though we're gonna get this all back online oh God, you can't even you can't even see the sky through that smog <laughs> 
And the first step is going to be getting all this radiation out of here. First things first, we're going to need some items. Good thing we've got materials everywhere. Not to mention stockpiles are the best stuff. A whole yeah, so I remember asking y'all in the last video, how does he find his stuff? Does he have some sort of like organization? And y'all just unanimously said that what he did was just, you know, let it lie as it hit the ground. <laughs> so I'm sure finding anything for him would just like be a nightmare. I wonder if he writes things down, you know, like, oh, hey, yeah, this one has these things and this has this. He's a lot like me in that case where I just literally never organize anything. The fact that this is here organized is impressive to me because I would never do anything like this. And you, and you rarely ever see him do stuff like this. A container full of things that blow up and me with a detonator. And you know what that means? I can't just blow this stuff up by hand, can I? Well, it was worth a shot. Good to know where these things are anyway. So step one <laughs> is we got to flush out all of these barrels. The animal cruelty. Or else I don't think reality is ever coming back together again. So we're going to go all the way over here to the outskirts of this madness. I see you flying up there. Don't judge me. And basically, we need to figure out how to get all these barrels out from our base. Let's just use this convenient thing called a splitter, and then we'll build out. A okay, so obviously I asked that question a little bit early because he's doing it now. So he's going to show us how he would do it. But for those of you who are, you know, a bit more clean, how would you you do it cleanly like can you go underground and hide it there a conveyor belt from there and we'll just keep running this and we'll just take it all the way to the edge here i'm not oh really my sure gosh. what the plan is seeing as <laughs> there's nothing down here but hey at least it's getting all this waste just away from the, the rest map. of my factories and at the end of all this we'll go ahead and put a nice big storage container there you go fellas oh. welcome to your temporary new home so while we wait see that would be brilliant why can't he just launch it off the map is that even doable would the belt just stop going at the end oh that'd be so funny wait for all of this stuff to finish filtering out of here. Let's get some other vital stuff done. As mentioned for the time being, none of these are working. You know, I know where there is working power though. And it's just one quick slide away. <laughs> ah, home sweets. For those of you that know, what was the reality of that slide? How long did it take him to walk there? Second home. I missed you security blanket of pipes and conveyor belts and materials. Anyway, we're not here for sightseeing. No, we're here for that power. That dirty, environmentally unfriendly coal power. Let's just go ahead and connect one of these power lines and let's go ahead and build all the way oh, back starting from my there this is gosh. Us. all the way back to our other base super easy to just run these forever don't worry this isn't going to take any time at all and we always know when we're getting closer to home because the frame rate <laughs> takes a dive and everything hurts <laughs> this poor computer it's funny that like Y'all told me multiple times that he shared his save file with the devs so they can optimize it, and then he keeps pushing it so it just becomes unoptimized again. <laughs> oh, his poor computer. Birds. Although, now that I'm in the main part of the factory, I think all the radiation's been filtered out, and I'm not taking damage anymore. I'm so happy it's time to use my inhaler again. Anyway, where were we? Oh, hello. What the hell are you? Pet the lizard doggo. Don't mind if I do. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Are those new? Those new things? I thought I saw everything that lived in this planet. Great talk. Looks like the barrels are still coming, which shows that the process is working all the way to barrel heaven. And we know that for sure because look at our glorious radiation levels. Oh Quite the radioactive vessel. And as we get closer, I'm really hurting. Now, in theory, this should be enough because the farther away we get, the lower the radiation goes. And if we're far enough away, the radiation goes away entirely. But I don't want to lose this entire area to that. Isn't there a way we can get rid of this stuff permanently? Most other items in the game you can just throw in the little trash can here. Oh, but not these barrels. It doesn't want you to do that. All right, let's leave this for a second and come over here. And let's test some stuff on it. So it sounds like he's trying, he's gisting. Is that even how you say it? It sounds like he's hinting towards what he's planning on doing. It's just trying to get it into the void. An area that doesn't have radiation. Okay, so getting rid of stuff. We can't just grab an item, drag it out of our inventory, because then it goes straight here on the ground. And sure, we can throw these things. Things, but no other items can we throw like that. So I wonder if there is any way we can... Oh, what the hell did that? You? You knocked me off? <laughs> oh, I bet you guys think you're so clever, don't you, huh? Oh, well, we learned something new just now. Those guys can throw themselves off. So the question is, can we somehow attach the radiation to these fellas and then just lead them off a cliff? Okay. It's so funny that those things are even in the game at all. Like, I know y'all told me that there's a story and there's going to be a purpose to this game. But right now it's just space building and factory building. But the fact that they're there, just like kind of just taking up space is so funny for me. Hold on. I got an idea. Let's build out a couple of little platforms and then let's add some walls. Okay. Hey, come back here. I have need of you. Come on. Come on. Okay, better. Stay right there. <laughs> I'm just going to put something on top of you. Easy. Well, technically it's on top of him, 
but I don't think it's part of him. Nope, definitely not. So I think it's safe to assume that there's no way to actually attach this to these creatures. Well, thanks for trying. So for my next idea, <laughs> we're gonna need one. <laughs> the hint, the hint of murder. <laughs> one of these, a pale berry. So do you remember that lizard doggo that we saw? As you can see, he's a little bit timid if we get too close. But if we take these here pale berries, go ahead and just put them on the ground. Oh my god! Doggo friend loves them. Oh, and that's so us. cool. And his tongue. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Aww. And now we have the message to see if lizard doggo found anything. Basically, now he has an inventory, and occasionally he'll find stuff and bring it to us. But we can also put things in that slot. And now it's just carrying it around while it follows us. So of course, I think we have another question. Can this little guy carry a stack of barrels? Only one way to find out. Come on, little guy. Okay, where? So wait, he's gonna give it a stack of radioactive barrels. See what happens. Were we? Get ready for a journey. Oh, hey, he found me some flower petals. That's so sweet. I love you too. <laughs> I'll take those. That face of innocence. <laughs> And here, you have these 258 oh barrels of gosh. toxic waste. And Lizard Doggo seems unaffected by the tremendous amount of radiation. Well, you know what happens next, right? Now, let's see. How am I going to get you to want to be down there? <laughs> what if we build some platforms all the way out here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's a good boy? Look how floppy its ears are. Gosh, that thing is just genuinely cute. I bet you money. I have no clue this is true. I bet you money there's a plushie of it out there, isn't there? Hey, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, mission successful. Oh, let's do it again. Hey there, little guy. I've got something for you. Good God, that took forever. But at least we got him. I was genuinely about to ask that. If that's his process, like how long is it going to take him to find each of these things to get rid of it? Because that would take forever. Make yourselves at home in the waiting room. Here, I'll even give you a window to look through. All right, so here's the thing. I've been doing some thinking, and I don't know if I can bear to watch them fall down onto the <laughs> cliffs below. I mean, after all, look at these little guys. Look at those <laughs> little faces. faces. They deserve better than that. That's <laughs> It's just full of love, and he's just launching them off a cliff. Why instead, we're going to use something else. Jump pads. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and... Excellent. Oh all right, gosh. I guess we need to test if it works. Yep, that'll about do it. <laughs> all right, come on, little guy. Let's get you all suited up. Okay, okay, okay. You know what to do. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was a rousing success. And before oh you know gosh. it, our nuclear waste problems are solved. Okay, come on out, fellas. You look all ready for prime time. Let's not just wander them over here. Instead, let's aim a bounce pad <laughs> back this direction. Build a couple layers up, and we'll put the other bouncy thingy at the top here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, you guys spread each other oh. out. Well, at least that one made it. Oh, God. And for this one, let's see if we can... <laughs> that one died in a basketball hoop. Get nothing but net. <laughs> Oh, close enough. Oh Who knew that getting rid of radioactive waste would be so much fun? Okay, we only have a couple more to go here. Have fun, guys. Ah, that's a victory, looks like. One last straggler, huh? You might want to avert your eyes for this. <laughs> well, looks like that took care of the radiation. Time to deal with the next mess. Getting all this back. So he found all those dogs and he went and found more for this bit. I mean, honestly, this this bit must have taken him multiple, multiple hours just to find all the dogs and do all these jokes. I mean, building the basketball hoop and there's nothing, there's no structures around it to help him build. So if he's not in creative mode, just building the basketball hoop, that must have taken him what? Gosh, I don't know anything about this game. Let's just say, let's just stick with hours. It took him hours. Online. We do still have to deal with radiation, of course, because to power these plants, we use these uranium fuel rods. Why does the game do that? Why does the, the conveyor belt still keep going even though it's stopped, technically? But it shouldn't be too hard to deal with. All we need to do is focus on the water part. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten that this one needs water too. First things first is we need to locate a water source. And you know, I think I know just the place. <laughs> oh yeah, and this reactor over here too. Okay, so all we really need to do Let's find some nice deep water. You know, this water doesn't appear to be terribly deep. Maybe it'll work anyway. Let's see. Time for some water extraction. Uh, yep. Looks like it's going to be just fine. Okay, now all we need to do is run some pipes. Hey, I'm sure this will be just fine, right? Pretty sure water doesn't naturally want to go uphill like that. But what do I care what water wants? I just care that it connects. <laughs> As it goes through the earth. <laughs> okay, and with that all connected, the entire base still doesn't have power. So we need to draw upon our power lines that are from the other base. I'm glad that you can drag 
drag these power lines out over to a cliff and then right into a waterfall. Whatever, they'll allow it, so I'll do it. Okay, <laughs> let's see, how are we doing? Water appears to be extracting at a perfectly whatever flow rate, and you can tell it's doing its job by this little thing here because of the things doing things. As you can tell, I totally understand how water works in this game. The important part is that if we come all the way over here and we check the pipes, we can see the water's running all the way here just fine. And if we look at the pl Why is the flow so low? Can someone explain that to me? Because earlier in that gauge, hang on, let me go back. Yeah, right here. Earlier this gauge, I mean, that's like very low pressure. How do you get it to be a better pressure? Flow rate, and you can tell it's doing its job by this little thing here because of the things doing things. As you can tell, I totally understand how water works in this game. The important part is that if we come all the way over here and we check the pipes, we can see the water. Yeah, look at that pressure. It's so low. Fine. And if we look at the plant itself, water's all there, uranium's all there. Looks like power is back on the menu. And on Onward to the other power plants. All right, excellent. I think we've done some really fine work here. Let's see if everything connects as planned. Let's start with one initially. Well, doesn't appear to be any water getting here, at least not yet. What do you mean this weird, gross, illogical <laughs> pipe system isn't working? I mean, if you take a look at our splitter here, this one's getting plenty of water, as is this part right here. Oh, wait, the flow sucks. So without really knowing what we're doing, we're going to use this pipeline pump. Allows fluids to be transported 20 meters upwards. Oh. Okay, well, great. Work your magic. Okay, there we go. Looks like we have more flow coming through this thing. Sort of. Water sure is weird. Ah, yes, much better. Full capacity in the pipes. That's what I like to see. Okay, how are we working, you big behemoth? See, that was just halfway. So he put that one thing on it and it fixed the flow. So it's 50% power. But how do you get to 100%? Just add more pumps? Ah, uh, yes. Burning water too fast and occasionally offline. That's what we call progress. <laughs> you know what? Why am I trying so hard? After all, this is a pretty large space. Let's see how many of these can fit. And oh, he's he's doing exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> and then two and three and four. Okay, that seems better. We have a couple more. Quite a bit more. <laughs> I have no idea how many are in here. All I know is it's Just more than couple. I had. And I hope it's enough to siphon up Fine. the entire... Oh. Do those link up? Can you link them all up so it's like a single power? Or do they have to all meet in the pipes? Do you know what I mean? Like have their own pipes connecting with each other or can they meet at the pump? I don't know. That was a confusing question, but you know what I mean. Ocean. Now it's time to get to the piping. Ta-da! Pipes, pipes, and more pipes. Uh, yes. I spent a little time building just a couple of pipes. That pipe doesn't systems. help answer. This, none of this helps answer my question. It just looks like a... God. <laughs> it's just such a mess. It looks like that you it looks like see right here look right here it looks like you can connect them up here but he's just meet them he's just like connecting them at the pipes man i don't know <laughs> here let me give you the grand tour basically they start here and then they extend out here and then they route over here and then god only knows where they go next <laughs> pretty much if there's ground to cover that's where we put pipes and i <laughs> oh no you can't even see the ground i do mean anywhere where there's ground to cover or if it's cliffs also now pipes heading past this first power plant that's right pipes and we just follow this very comprehensive pipe system <laughs> How you doing there, buddy? You having a good time? And we just keep on going and follow where the pipes go until eventually we make it over where we can see water making it to all of our power plants. Who would have thought pipes were so oh my easy? God. All you got to do is just have so many running <laughs> everywhere that eventually everything can connect and have water. And yeah, sure, when these things are producing power, they also produce nuclear byproducts. But that's a solved problem. Everybody wins. And with all these glorious <laughs> power plants up and working again, so too are our facts. That poor dog. It's just, I've already said this joke, but it just looks so happy to see you. And then there it goes. Curious. Yeehaw to beautiful, endless manufacturing. Oh, and don't worry. I haven't forgotten about this guy. I know we need to get water up here too. And I know that seems pretty daunting, but don't you worry. I've got an idea. So hold, please. Seven hours later. Do y'all actually believe this? Because I do. When he says seven hours later. And connected. See, that wasn't so hard to get water up here. All I had to do was build a couple of water pipes. A lot of water oh, pipes. A lot, a lot. My a gosh. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful and disgusting at all the same time. Look at the ground over here. You can see all the way from the water, just this massive network of disgusting. And then it all wraps up there. <laughs>
Yeah, it's definitely seven hours. A lot of water pipes. Yep, this is what I did. I started with a pipe on the ground, ran it all the way to the start of my conveyor belt tornado, and then just kept building and building and building. And before you know it, fresh water straight from the source. And boy, howdy, is this doing amazing things to the frame rate. I'm just glad that it turned out putting all this pipe down was easy. That said, while I noticed <laughs> the radiation nightmare is over, oh boy, have I noticed some cursed stuff still happening. You know, I think I know what we can do. Granted, I don't want to waste all this beautiful manufacturing prowess or this gross thing, but I think I have an idea to salvage our factory and our frame rate. So let's head back over to Red Base, where we've got our hub. In the hub is where we unlock new milestones. And over here in Tier 7, we have something called Aeronautical Engineering. And in that, we have something called Drones. Okay, so I'm assuming this is part of a a newer update at the time because his previous video the one with the tubes it was a, it was a year before he did this one so i'm assuming that the drones were with this transports available input back and forth between its home and destination ports i like the sound of that so in order to unlock these things we need to amass all of these items and then we just feed it all into the machine a big old button appears Heck yeah which the button this cargo container right here into orbit but before we do that i have kind of an idea can you take an explosive to outer space for me only one way to find Find out and launch. Okay, have a nice summer. <gasps> oh, that does work. Well, nice oh to gosh. see it's completely unaffected. It's, it slowed it down. Did. And now because of our generous contributions, we have fun. Can you, okay, now, now I have to know. If you were to put enough dynamite on that rocket ship, could you just destroy it? Could you blow it up in the sky? New toys. So for starters, we can't just put a drone down right here in the sand. It needs to go in the drone port. Okay, I see how this works. It's like a little carrier thing. Batteries to power the drones go in here. And these are like in and out points for importing and exporting materials. Easy peasy lemon whatever. Couldn't be more simple. Okay, yeah, and drones fit right here. Look at that, ready to transport. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and connect this thing all the way through our pile of crap. I mean, surely somewhere in here are batteries, right? Wait. Wait, those look like batteries to me. <laughs> Quickly, new conveyor belt, add a splitter, and now take some of those batteries. Now that these are- They're there somewhere, I just know it. <laughs> well underway, we're gonna put two storage containers, one for the imports and one for the exports. And for stuff to transport, I'm just gonna use copper. Not for any reason, just because I have it. And now we need to configure the drone port. And we're gonna name this first port, Sendy Offy. And now let's move a little bit away from this station here and add another drone port over here. And we'll set up another container. This one's gonna be just just for receiving. And we're gonna name this second port. Gimme goodies. Excellent. <laughs> and we're gonna set it up so that send- I'm shocked that he didn't test the length of a name that you could do. The Offy has a destination port of gimme goodies. Oh, in the moment we set this up, look what's happening. Wait, don't leave without me. Let's see where this thing goes. Wow, we're really high up here. Oh we're my God, you can ride it. <laughs> Well, looks like it's going to the destination, and it looks like it's coming in for a nice, smooth- That's pretty cool that you can ride it, though. So if you're trying to get somewhere really quickly, you can just jump on one of your drones and ride it. Is that a normal way? I mean, can you do that instead of the tubes? With landing. Oh, and here comes our supplies. Perfect, that worked like a charm. And then when it's done it, whoa! It takes off in a perfect pattern to do some sweet air maneuvers <laughs> before landing in its original pad again, to pick up more supplies before doing it all again. Kind of curious what I can do with this thing. Like, I see it doing all these events of maneuvers, but like if I build foundations and just intentionally try and get in its way, is it gonna know how to deal with this? We're about to find out. Nice. Huh. <laughs> it doesn't care at all. <laughs> and then off it goes. Well, that's an in I'm sure we all saw that one coming. Interesting first test. If it doesn't care about collision, this gives me an idea. So here's my master plan. We're gonna use those drones to take- God, I love that cut. I love that he just does this clean cut between his bases where it's just- he's just running and then- whew, Next base. That's so cool to me. Take all these luscious supplies and transfer them to our other non-cursed base. Because after all, we don't want all these supplies or all this luscious power to go to waste now, do we? Of course not. So one of the things, though, is that these drone ports actually take up quite a lot of space. And something tells me it's smart to have at least a couple. But luckily, I think I know a place that's centrally located to all of our stuff that has virtually unlimited building space. And I think I know what we can use to help us out. Behold, my original train station. <laughs> 
station. <laughs> Back when you could make train station names. Really? God, I forgot about that. <laughs> really, 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 really long. Those were the days. Anyway, we're going to take a little trip. Because if you recall, I made a nice little railway that doesn't give a crap about the rules of terrain at all. And now here we are, underneath the world, where there's so much open space for us to work with. Anyway, look at all that space out there. Let's see if we can use... So what is that right there? That's just grass that just sort of ended up there. Does grass grow in this game? I don't think so. But how did that get there? Is it... Uh, first things first, let's make a platform for building on. Yes, perfect for a drone port. Just gotta run some power for it. You know, I'm fairly certain the thing will fly off, even if we don't give it any materials. So long as we just tell it where to go. We're gonna tell this to fly to gimme goodies. So I think in theory, the moment I place this drone down, it should just take off. These sound like promising noises and promising behavior. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Well, there it goes. Halfway across God, that sound effect. Across <laughs> the known universe, all the way to its destination, where it abruptly stops and then appears to maintain a holding pattern, along with this other drone, and I have no idea why. It's not because I put the found. Okay, so how is he following him? One of y'all said in the last video that there's a pretty extensive camera mode in this game. Are you able to fly it out that far and follow the drone? Nations there, right? It's not like you cared about that before. Well, let's check real fast. Nope, they definitely still don't care. Wait a minute. Looks like the power went out on this. Is that why? Let's fix the power and find out. Oh, looks like that was the reason. Now that we got the green stuff's landing again. Okay, wait. Now I have to know. If I leave it red, also known as no power, how many of you can be up here? Oh Let's gosh. find out, shall we? Okay, now we have four total. We're gonna make sure to set them all to gimme goodies. Oh boy, and here they go. Oh god, the, the clipping is so bad. <laughs> Stay in formation, pilots. What did I say about breaking formation? You might be asking yourself why I didn't just build these things closer. Because then we couldn't have this amazing journey. <laughs> and we wouldn't be able to see this glorious drone ballet. Oh, that's so cool to watch. Look at the look at the scenery untouched by him. Look how pretty it is. And then you have pipes, which may be cooler. <laughs> hey. Okay, here they come. Let's see what happens. I see. Well, I think we know what needs to happen next, don't we? Is there a limit to this? Only one way to find out. <laughs> okay, so I've been at this oh for a gosh. little while now. I've built a couple oh of drones. Oh my gosh. This can't be cheap to build. At like, at all. Foggy view distance here stops you from seeing all that I've made. But let me tell you, there's a lot of drones here. In total, there's 384 <laughs> drones here. Quietly spread out underneath our base. And for each and every one of these, they're all set to go to gimme goodies. All right, so let's turn on the power. Oh boy. Here go. <laughs> this song. Goes nothing. The anticipation. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Up oh, and off they go. Off at two frames a second oh to seek gosh. fame and fortune on their pilgrimage. It just looks like one of those hive mind things. Like you watch a sci-fi movie and you're fighting the aliens and then like they're all flying in perfect formation. This is what this is. To the sacred gimme goodies. You know what I did back at the base too? Just to add some fun is I added a bunch of explosives to things. Not sure how that works, but I'm not going to question it. You know, so we can get that real feeling like they're trying to be <laughs> shot down. Evasive maneuvers. Serpentine. Serpentine. And before you know it, here they That's are so coming cool. in to join the queue. Higher and higher and higher. Oh my God, what are we looking at? <laughs> this is actually really pretty. Huh, you know what? I guess there really isn't a limit. It looks like this really can just keep going forever. I mean, seriously, look how high this goes. There's my cannon. There's the drones. And here's how much higher they go. Oh and boy, gosh. is it going to be a long queue to land at this station. Ah, one down. An eternity of drones left to go. You know? Oh my gosh. It's always good to have a laugh. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to react to next. You want me to keep doing this series? You want me to do other series? Uh, anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye.